Hello everyone, my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 54 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully designed this uh, section from here. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on the edit courses section. Just look at here when someone click on this one. So that section is coming from here. So we are going to try to design this section. So without wasting of time, let's get started. But before we are going to start this uh, section, we need something changes here. Just look at here. This uh, color will be not good from here. So we are going to change the color. Where is that color? NTHL1. Seven four double eight nine e. Where is that color? Yeah, here is the color. You said the seven four double eight nine e. Okay, let's refresh and check. So you can see that now. When someone hover on that one, so that time its color will be. Copy this one from here, paste that one, hover, color will be 06F, okay, let's refresh and check, you can see that, you can see that now it's looking very good and perfect, so now let's try to design the section from here which we have, which we have here, okay, so first of all, course edit section this is a course edit section so now we are going to create one another page from here with the let's close that one from here also and this one also from here okay and here i'm going to design i'm going to open the index.php control a control c control n for new page php Control A, Control V, Control S to save this page with the name course edit dot php. Okay. So save this page from here. Okay. So now let's try to open that page. Course edit dot php. So is that page is available from here, but doesn't need the slider and all the section from here. So I'm going to remove that section from here. Okay, let's see first of all output what we have here. So you can see that. So now we also doesn't need that footer from here. Into the wrap, I'm going to the course edit section dot php. Let's close it. Again open it so we can get the <coughs> CSS file from here. And now let's try to open the t -t 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 card page okay not a card page we are going to open the function page from here and into the card section where is the card section yeah here is the crumb available so i'm going to copy that crumb and paste that crumb from here okay 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 okay, okay. not from here we're going to copy that one from something else okay so, so we are going to use your c edit L, which means course edit lab section okay as the same way we need here course edit R section which means right section into the right section we are going to copy the crumb section from there copy that one close it paste it save it okay so now what we are going to do here the simple and very simple way is we are going to copy the course where is the course yeah we are going to copy this one from here by control c paste that one here by control v and say c edit l okay 
as the same way we are going to copy the cat body right section from here paste that section from here with the c add it and then say r okay let's refresh and check what we have here so you can see that okay something wrong float left float left width yeah 20 percent of width refresh it so you can see that but we doesn't need any margin from here <coughs> doesn't need any margin from here so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here and here uh, what we are going to do here say 500 pixel refresh it so you can see that now it's looking very good and we also need one more thing from here we are going to set the position fixed property from here so it position will be the fixed okay so you can see that now into the r uh, c edit r section we are going to use here a margin from the left 20 percent okay let's refresh it so you can see that our output is coming perfectly from here and now let's see that this output okay so we need to change the background color also from here so how can you do that so simply here is the color 748890 okay now let's refresh and check so you can see that that output is coming perfectly from here now inside that c edit left section we are going to do something from here okay first of all we're going to set course management okay let's refresh and check course management is coming from here now we are going to try to design that one say c edit l have h1 tag then its color will be has 3 f5 to 6 7 and its text shadow will be 3 px 3 px 3 px and has 0 0 0 okay and its font size will be uh, 16 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that i think 20 pixel is better Crush it okay let's remove the padding from all side just because it doesn't need any padding from here refresh it so you can see that now we can set the height and width of that uh, h1 tag so its width will be 100% and its height width will be 100 percent height will be 14 pixel line height also 40 pixel now let's refresh and check so you can see that i think 50 pixel and 50 pixel okay 50 pixel 50 pixel and here only one pixel one pixel and then one pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that nice looking very good very nice perfect and now we are going to use here a text align center property okay let's refresh and check so you can see that course management section is ready to use here this we have here as we have here we also have here okay now we do one more thing from here font weight will be the normal refresh it so you can see that nice looking very good and perfect output okay now what we have on next so title and image so we are going to use here a one ulli tag ul inside that ul we need the li 
inside that ally we use a a href has okay in title and image okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the link is coming from here we use a font toss awesome also from here into the header section we are going to the header section yeah this is the font awesome section the user see and here also we can set like that let's refresh and check so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here now we need as the same way some another allies okay control plus s to save that one now let's see course goal okay so we set the here course goal here and then what we have next course details course details and then what we have next course price and then what we have next curriculum and the next ally we doesn't need that ally okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the all the allies is coming from here now we need to design that ally from here okay so how can you design that one so first of all we are going to set the has c edit l have some ul list style type will be none margin top 2% margin bottom 2% let's refresh and check so you can see that okay now we are going to design the ally of that ul so ally its width will be 100% and its height will be uh, 16 pixel line height will be 60 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that and the now we are going to design the a tag inside that li tag so its text decoration will be none its color will be has uh, now let's see what color we have okay white color FFF and then a shadow will be same as we have here control C control V let's refresh and check so you can see that the shadow is coming perfectly from there and now we need some padding from the left side 2% and its box sizing border box fresh it okay 2% I think we need some more from here 5% okay uh, let's see the output from here we also need to decrease the font size from here uh 12 pixel i think it's looking very good with the 12 pixel okay 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 it's too small 14 pixel refresh it now it's looking very good i think a 10 percent is perfect from here now it's looking very good very nice now we need to set the eye tech from here so i can do that so simply copy that one paste that one and i tag will be width 
20 pixel okay let's refresh and check so you can see that nice looking very good with the same as we have here now when someone use a hover on here onto the ally then it's background okay not a back face visibility background will be has FFF now also we are going to set here a tag color will be 3 f 5267 let's see what we have here if we are going to hover okay and text shadow will be none text shadow none okay let's refresh and check you can see that ally is coming perfectly from here now we, we need one more thing from here we're going to use here a display block property okay let's refresh and check so you can see that now the ally is coming perfectly from here as we have a here okay but here we use a one more thing we use here font weight bold property okay let's refresh and check so you can see that now it's looking very good yeah i think now it's looking very good and perfect okay now we use a one more thing from here transition all 0.3 s okay let's refresh so you can see that three percent transition is coming from here let's say with the six pixels uh, 60 ms uh, 600 ms so you can see that okay as the same way we are going to do one more thing here doing padding from the left side 15 percent let's refresh you can see that the padding is coming perfectly but as the same way we need to use a transition all 0.6s into the art a tag refresh it so you can see that now it's looking very good and perfect output perfect output now we are going to design the bottom side uh, button just look at here we have a button from here submit for review okay so i'm going to again into the r section and here we are going to use a uh, let's see what we have here I want to use here a button let's use here a button tag with the submit for review let's see okay sub button is coming from here let's do it into the center tag cut down from here paste it from here refresh it now let's set the position absolute property onto the button section okay so c l have some button is position absolute and now we need to also set the position fixed property from here okay so say from the bottom five percent okay let's refresh and check so you can see that now the center tag is not working from here so we need to center it on to the some another way okay Let's center it from the another way. The another way is top 50%. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Left 
let's refresh and check so you can see that the button is coming into the center okay now let's uh, define the height and width height will be <coughs> so the height will be uh, that button will be uh, 45 pixel and its width will be uh, something like uh, 80 percent let's refresh and check okay so it will be the going down left uh, let's say 12 percent refresh it so you can see that i think 10 percent refresh it now it's looking very good but we also need some more changes from here border one pixel so okay 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 let's see what we have okay white color white color white color yeah 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 so we say border width zero pixel and its background will be as ff and its color will be as 3f5267 let's see okay so you can see that and now when someone hold on that button then its cursor will be the pointer so you can see that the cursor will be the pointer okay also we are going to use a transition property here transition all 0.6s now what happened when someone hover on that button so that time the, 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 that time what we are going to do here uh, background will be um, 3 f5 to 6 7 and its color will be as fff let's refresh and check so you can see that the output is coming very perfect and very completely okay so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching goodbye